Welcome back everyone and today we've got the next component for our video editing rig rebuild and this time it is something sent in to us by Arctic. Now if you are not familiar with Arctic you really should be because with the exception of RGB fans which I mean they, they've got some but your best value per dollar 4 case fans is going to be from Arctic. And I say that with no real qualifications to it because although there may be, oh look, they gave me a tube of thermal paste too, um, better fans. I mean, if you put Arctic's fans up against Noctua's, you may find that the Noctua is slightly quieter or has slightly less motor noise. Um, and we will, in fact, do some independent testing of the fans themselves. But when it comes down to it, these boxes of fans are 40 bucks each. So this is a five pack of PWM 140 millimeter, 200 to 1700 RPM. Uh, 72.8 CFM, 2.4 millimeters of water static pressure, fluid dynamic, eh, fluid dynamic bearings, and this is where things get a little weird, is they rate their noise level as 0.3 sewn. They don't rate it in uh, DBA at a distance. Um, and that's really something the fan manufacturers like to do so that they're all harder to compare than they should be. But anyway... The, these are high quality fans, even if they are a bit basic. And what I mean by that, oh look, here's a little QR code with the, the manual, is there's no RGB, there's no, um, what's the word I want to use here? There's no RGB, these are just a high quality 40 millimeter case fan, and these happen to be one of the slightly higher end variants um, that Arctic carries, and I think the price difference is maybe a dollar a fan. These are the PST models, which we can see we've got our four pin PWM and then a three pin PWM share lead. And the reason for that is, and I'll do a better demo on this when I go ahead and put the case together, is if I am putting in my case, say I've got three fans on the front what you'll do is one fan will go to your motherboard header and then the next two fans will chain together like this and there there are practical limits but three fans is definitely more than manageable and so now I have this which is not terrible to manage. Um, I'll probably want it kind of like that. Plugged into my motherboard, and all three of these fans are running at the same speed. Now, the reason you do something like that is twofold. Uh, number one, if all of these fans were spinning at different speeds, they would make different sounds. I would have different volumes of air moving through them, I would have different vibrations through them, I would have different motor noises. So if I put these all together and I link them all up like this, be it two fans, three fans, five fans, however many it is, and I want to say about five is really the practical limit, although you could definitely do more, that's up to your motherboard. They're all now spinning at the same speed and they're going to make the same sound. And so it's worth a little bit of extra just to get this little lead. And they, they don't charge a huge premium for this. Um, like I said, I think it's maybe a dollar if I was to buy these fans individually. And part of the reason that we got these is because that case that we have does have a ton of fans. And it's not that our fractal design fans are bad, but... I want this fan and this fan, you know, to make the same sound, and they're never going to. I have different fan blade counts, I have different motors, I have different housings, 
which for some reason the Arctic looks dramatically bigger. Maybe it's just slightly thicker um, than the fractal design. So I'm never going to get the same noise out of these two fans. So we took these fractal design fans out and they weren't bad fans, although they were three pin fans, not four pin PWM fans. Um, there's no reason you couldn't use these. And we're going to be replacing all the fans in that case with these Arctic 140 millimeter fans. Uh, so long story short, these are the case fans that if you are on a budget, you want. Now there are a few other variants of them. Um, the F14 does not have nearly as focused a airstream as the P14. P is pressure, F is air volume. Now, to be honest, you can use either one for either, but the P14 is rated for like one CFM less whereas the F14 is rated for half the pressure. So if we're talking about case fans, whichever one's available is going to be fine. These do have a slightly more focused airstream, but if you put three of them together, it's not going to matter. If you only had a single case fan, the fact that it tends to funnel it into a specific area may be more of an issue, but for a a two, a three, a four fan array, that's not a huge problem. Um, beyond that, the Arctic does make what are called CO variants of their fans, which are for continuous operation. They come with a reinforced bearing compared to the standard fans. Um, this is a, what do they say, it's a fluid dynamic bearing, and I believe those are double ball bearing on those. So those are just, it, it's a sturdier bearing. It's supposed to hold up better if you run it 24-7. Um, as far as these are concerned, they will be running nearly 24-7, but we didn't go with CO fans uh, just due to some availability constraints at this particular juncture. If this was a server, and I, I use the term server loosely. I mean, any piece of rack mount equipment or any computer can be a server. But like if this was my home server, I would have purchased CO fans for it as opposed to my workstation, which although it is on nearly 24-7, um, it, it does get breaks from time to time. So it's not quite 24-7, 365. And a lot of things that it used to do that I had it on 24-7 have been migrated to my server. I know we're no longer run Plex on the same workstation that I used to edit 4K video. There were a couple of incidents where we made some people unhappy. Um, so anyway, we're going to do some independent testing on these. I'm not going to use all 10 of these fans in our build. Um, I'm currently looking at two, three, three currently looking at using nine or so, um, which would leave me with an extra fan to do some testing. We are going to look into getting a, a test rig so that I can test pressure, so that I can test airflow patterns, so that I can test volume of air uh, per fan. And that is something that I have to build. But now that I've got a couple of different fans, I actually have some comparison points because I have these Arctics. I have that fractal design. I actually have... I believe a PWM version of the fractal design fans as well. No, nope, mine is, <laughs> listen, I had a boxed GP14. I thought this was the PWM version and it is not, although it may be a slightly different variant than the ones that came in that case still. Um, and this was left over from a separate project, but I've got some other 140 millimeter fans as well. Um, I may take one of the Noctua 150s off of its heat sink and test it separately. And uh, we'll, we'll start building some information for, you know, how, how much noise do they make, at what RPM, what kind of motor sounds do we have. We have equipment for measuring DBA. Um, what we do need to get equipment for is measuring air speed and air pressure. Um, and that's just a matter of now that I have some stuff to test, I have to build it and test it. 
and obviously I'll need to get something with PWM control capable of driving these fans, which um, is on my list anyway. So, that's the quick rundown. That's our unboxing of these Arctic P14s. Really, you get the fans, an instruction card. So you get five fans in a box with an instruction card. These are the PST versions, so each one comes with this little header. And then this is the part that I'm not super excited about. These are just standard steel colored case screws for the fans. I'm probably going to try and get different screws. And it's not that there's anything wrong with these. The case is black, so I'm going to want my screws to match. You know, I, I don't want a bunch of silver screws sticking out on a black case. So anywhere that these would be visible, I'm going to try and get black screws for them. Um, which I've got some of, the case came with some of, and I mean, it's, it's a bag of screws. And that's not a dig at Arctic or anyone else. That is just a comment on aesthetics. So, all right. Um, I, I think that's enough rambling about these. Once again, thank you for Arctic for sending these in for our video editing rig rebuild. Um, very excited to have some of these left over to test as well. And uh, hopefully this is the start of more fan testing because everyone is always arguing about who makes a better fan, what fan makes better uh, pressure, what fan moves more air, what heat sinks cool better. And this is Pocketables getting into that to say, you know, unequivocally, we recommend X at this price point. And that's a key qualifier there. Um, I mentioned that these are cheap. I mean, they're not cheap, poorly made. They're a, a good value type cheap. Uh, there may be other fans that we test. You know, I mentioned Noctua is usually one of the ones that gets compared to these that are outright better. Uh, but if it costs three times as much, is it worth being 5% better? depending on what you're doing, maybe not. Um, especially, you know, I mentioned in our case, we're going to have nine of these. Um, so that's, if I was to have purchased uh, the 140 millimeter, 25 millimeter thick Noctua's that I would have looked at for this, I would have been looking at about $300 in fans, um, which I generally can't justify. Anyway, thank you for, to Arctic for sending these in. We're looking forward to getting into more testing and uh, kind of putting some questions to bed as far as which fans do what at what speeds and what price points. Um, I also want to thank anyone who helps support Pocketables either on Patreon or through our Amazon affiliate links, which there will be a link to these fans, both individually, multi-pack, as well as the F-Series fans, if you're really looking at them as just a case fan, uh, in the description below. And uh, I want to thank Electrix for providing our opening and closing themes. And finally, and finally, thank you for watching.